Hi guys, Matt Townend here from Turtle Carp and we're down at the stunning Black Horse Lake in Milton Keynes. I'm here with Lee from Delkim and we're just going to talk a little bit about the new TXIDs. Um, so Lee, I can clearly see that they're different to the old ones, they look a bit different. Yeah. Um, I've been using them for the past couple of months since they've come out and I absolutely love them. Um, That's good. And we'll just go about sort of looking at some of the key changes that you've made. Okay, um, well, you know, it was a long uh, and arduous process of uh, developing these alarms. You know, we had the old TXI Plus, which uh, everybody loved. Um, you know, it was a hard act to follow. Um, and that's been available for 15 years. So it had a long, it had a long run. And so we needed something that was going to be uh, a bit of a wow factor to, to, to top that. And um, we took a long time in developing and getting these right, you know, the TXID and the uh, RXD. Um, I think one of the things we started off with was the look, and you can see um, that they, they, they are smaller, 30% smaller. One of the key things was, can we make a slightly smaller alarm? The other ones, people thought they were a bit bulky. Um, so that was, that was the key. Can we make the mouldings better? Can we make the thing more reliable? You know, even more reliable than they already were. 15 years of a good product. Um, you know, we wanted to make it as, as, as reliable, as, as weatherproof as possible. Uh, and we wanted to maintain that Delkin Look, that was one of our key design uh, um, prerogatives was keeping that Delkin look, that silhouette of a Delkin, making it smaller, making it look more modern. And I think we've, we've, we've achieved that. Um, you said yourself that you, you quite like the, the look. You said it looked... Yeah, it's just a, it's, nice. it, it's still that typical Delkin look, but it's just a lot sleeker, isn't it? A lot yeah. more modern now. We tried to strip it back, keep it simple, keep it modern, but sort of <laughs> retro, I suppose, in, in, in that kind of way. Um, so that was the outside. Um, we wanted to make sure that the mouldings were perfect, uh, that the things were, were watertight as best that we can. Because that is something that a lot of people have said over the years with the old Delkims. Um, that some people have said about issues with w water tightness in the past, um, and that's something that you've really addressed, isn't it? With yeah, the new alarms. You know, we didn't make alarms to TXI Plus in 15 years if they didn't didn't no. work. Uh, and they worked in, in all weathers and it looks like the weather's coming in on us now but you know so we wanted to go more and stay further so yeah we made sure they've been in rain chambers to make sure that they don't leak you know monsoon conditions three years of rain over a period so we've done that we still we physically seal the halves together um, with silicon sealant marine grade silicon sealant as well and we've we've covered every single base on putting the mouldings together um, in terms of the circuitry we've invested a lot of money in um, robotic coating machinery that has improved our, our weatherproofing beyond where, where, where we were. And we know and we're, we're extremely confident that we've covered every single base. And we're still making them in the UK. I want to stress that. We hand assemble these products. The circuits are made in the UK. They're coated in the UK. We individually test every single one that leaves us and that's how we maintain the level of quality that we, we will never ever drop. Excellent. So in terms of how they, actual, how they actually work then, what differences are there between these and the, the old alarms? Well, <clears throat> the main thing is we've, we've still retain the vibration sensing, okay? So Delkim is re renowned for that unique piezo vibration sensor, which you know and love. Um, and so we've tried to take that one step further. The old system, was an analog system, okay? So the biggest challenge in, in creating these alarms was moving from an analog system to a digital system. We knew uh, that we wanted a better radio, you know, we, we knew that the product was getting past its sell by date because, um, but we just had to work on it and develop it as best we can and try and get it as quickly as we can. And it was a real struggle to get it right. So moving from a, an analog system to a digital system, which we've done, and with that, we've been able to create a unique system where now we have response and we have beep speed. And I know that you quite like uh, the beep speed that we've put into this system. No, definitely. Um, for me, that's, that's been probably the biggest change. So I, I used the TXI pluses before um, and this, they can be super sensitive. You can turn that sensitivity down, mm. um, but, but the issue is that if you do have them a, sen a sensitivity that you require, but even just like a line, it can send them into a, a, a warble. Yeah. And then you can't really differentiate between just getting a knock and getting full 
blood drawn. You end that, up running out your sleeping bag. That is exactly you know the nail on the head. We had a lot of sensitivity, but it wasn't quite as usable as we would like. And you've just you know explained that very succinctly. Our old system was uh, a mixture of analog and digital, so we wanted to to improve on that, and we have done that now. We've got a fully digital radio system, um, which gives us better range, better performance, better penetration. You know, it's a massive step forward from where we were of a, of a radio that was 15 years old. So, you know, we knew it needed updating, but we couldn't bring it out until we finalized the alarm. Um, so in terms of its range, well, you know, in a line of sight, we've had it going about 700 meters, but and you know- you're never gonna be that far. Never gonna be away, but you have to have that <laughs> sledgehammer to crack a nut to get it to go the distance you want to yep. um, from, from, you know, to the next swim. It's an emergency use to be away from your rods. Nobody condones being away, but sometimes you have to go uh, and, and do something and you've got to be in contact with your rods. So that's there. So out the box, you know, it's set where you can walk up and down the lake, no problem at all. Um, we've got more battery life even than we had in our old one. You know, we've got market leading battery life. Oh, well, our I was, was going to say, I think in the whole time that I've had my alarms, I've only changed the batteries maybe once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe once. That's probably because I don't. Depends how much you catch, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, we've improved that even more. Yeah, we're renowned for battery life and uh, we, it's something we've always uh, wanted to maintain its its high performance with, with long battery life. Even with our illuminating hangers and bits that we add on, battery life is key. But the radio, we've got some um, great great features. DND, the do not disturb feature. We've got run light. We've got um, increased security now. You know, we've got a we were the first to bring out an anti theft system back in 2003, which others have have now got. We've gone one stage further now. Um, we've got what's called an IMU movement sensor, so the security now is 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 far better than any other alarm on the market, um, and that's all in conjunction with the new receiver. You know, all these features are on the new receiver. So while people might think, well, why do I need to? Well, how can you improve on the on the the, the alarms, the TXI Plus? Um, you might not think that beep speed is essential for you, but it, you've said it's, it's useful. Certainly the radio in itself is a massive step forward. And then to go with it, you've got some fantastic alarms with some fantastic features. So the D&D &D is something that we were just chatting about a little bit earlier, yeah. wasn't it? Um, and that's something that, again, I think is another very useful feature. Um, with an alarm that's so sensitive to vibration, having that D&D can help eliminate those false false beeps that you receive, for example, during a rainstorm. Yeah, it's trying to chuck it down here a little bit, but it's not, not heavy enough to cause a problem. But the D&D, &D, do not disturb. Basically, when you set it, uh, it, it, it lasts for 15 minutes and it's an emergency setting for when it really starts to hammer it down, okay? Uh, or, you know, you get a little storm squall come in. So when the, something's hitting the line, it's a vibration system, so it's, it, it, it will set it off. So if you've got everything set nicely and suddenly it's, it's hammering it down, it's bouncing off the line, you're going to get those false, false beeps. You don't want to go out there and readjust everything because it's going to pass. D&D &D allows you to turn that on that feature and it will ignore all those single pulses. But it, it will, if you get a continuous movement of four seconds or more, it will kick in on the receiver. So, you know, you get a run, you won't, you won't miss it. So that's key. And once the bad weather's passed, you turn it off. Um, or it will time itself out. So that's what we put in there. So you've added like a lot of extra functionality to the alarm with only a few sort of additional buttons here and there. Um, so far, I've not really had any issues at all trying to uh, work the alarms and everything. I've, I've, I've found it pretty easy to work on. Um, what was the main sort of thoughts behind how you, how you set it all up there? So we've tried to make the alarms easier to personalise, okay? So you can adjust the LED brightness. You, as you said, you can set the beep speed. You can set your tone. Um, you can turn the LEDs. We have a stealth mode. We have various uh, functions, okay? But we've only added one extra button. Okay, people go, oh, it looks, it looks scary. You've got loads and loads of features and buttons to press. No, we've added two buttons to the receiver. 
and we've added one button to the alarm. And basically, once you've set your personal preferences when you got them out of the box, you're really not going to change much. Once you've set your tone and you might want to change your LED brightnesses, you're not really going to do much after that. You, you, once you've found your sweet spot for your beep speed, you'll, you'll probably fish with that most of the time. At the end of the day, out the box, we've got default settings that mean you can just turn it on. It'll be just like your TXI Plus that you loved. Um, and all you have to do is set your tone and set your response and away you go fishing. You know, we've made it that simple. If you want to start doing things and changing the LED brightnesses, changing the beep speed, using stealth mode, um, you know, using DND, run light on the receiver, changing the vibro, you can do all that but you can just go out and fish. You know, it's all ready for you to go straight away. A bit like your TV. TV has loads of settings that nobody ever uses if you went into the menu, but basically you just turn it on and watch BBC. That's it, that's all you have to do. I guess people will find the particular settings that they find useful to themselves. Yeah. Uh, like I was saying about the beep speed and the D&D, &D, they're, they're two things that I found particularly useful. That's right, and you know, in terms of uh, LED brightnesses, it's got a day and night setting, so the day setting is maximum brightness, which most people will probably stick with. The night setting is where it's on medium brightness and you get the night marking, which was a unique feature that's one of our patented features. So the LEDs just grow, glow up nicely at night so you can see where your rods are setting. And it's all done for you. Um, you know, you don't, you don't need to worry, don't be scared. And as you say, you've used it. Just get it out and go, you know. <laughs> go fishing, go enjoy it. I mean, something that I was, that I was gonna say as well with, um, how they're set up with the buttons. The fact that you've got the the two button on off, um, I, I think that's particularly useful as well. And like on the alarm, the three button on off, which means you, you're not going to accidentally turn them on or off. Yeah, that's um, again with a switch. Not like you can a switch. No. You can just hit in your in your pocket. That's right. Switch gets knocked in your pocket. So actually, while you ah, oh, it's got buttons everywhere. They're actually a bit more useful than you think. You know, mm. to use because the switch gets knocked, you, you can turn the buttons on. So yeah, we've we've. <laughs> We've put a lot of time, a lot of effort. The user interface took a lot of time to get right to try and make it simple to use. We've tried to cover every single possible angle on these alarms with our 25 years of experience, or well, more, of bite alarms. You know, we've been doing bite alarms back from Herons and Optonics and making our own. So probably 40 years, really. Everything's gone into this. Every bit of knowledge that we've had has gone into this, and we have made a really really good alarm and they've been out there now for for nearly four months now um we've had some particularly bad weather <laughs> through the summer probably wouldn't have liked to have launched it in a in quite as a wet time uh so they've they, you know, they've been abused already by people and they're loving them yeah they're absolutely loving them and you're loving them by the looks of it so yeah, um, I, you know, we're pleased and it's it makes us feel that all that hard work was 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 worth it because it's always a worry releasing a new product. We were, you know, you think you've covered everything, but you never know. Something might bite you on the, the backside, but no, so far, oh, we're really, really pleased. Excellent. Let's take a quick look at a few more questions that people have, have, people have been asking you. So, in the four months that they've, that they've been out, I'm guessing you've had loads and loads of questions at the shows. Yes. Do you want to go through a couple of the sort of key ones that people have asked? Yeah, um, I think the, the, the main, um, confusion with stuff is okay these are a new range of alarms okay um, we do a range of accessories and some work with them and some don't all our visual indication systems okay still work with the new alarms and our existing plus range so anything that's got the socket in uh, the nightlight socket all our visual indication Please. systems that's right there are new um, nightlight indication sets so anything new all the old systems all still work the the difference is that the new alarms, because they're a completely different style of moulding, they have their own D-lock release system and they have their own um, safety, the carbon snag arms. So it's a new back, it's a new moulding. So the V2 versions are for the TXIDs. Um, we still make the original ones for people who've got TXI pluses. Um, because there's still <laughs> plenty of them out there. No, yeah, um, so yeah, people need to be aware. V2s work with these ones. All the visual indication systems work with all our range of alarms uh, with the nightlight socket. So that's one of the biggest questions that we get asked. One of the other things we get asked is, are we still making the old ones? Um, well, the answer unfortunately is no. Uh, for the, but you know, we've since we started making the, the TXIDs, we've discontinued our, our whole range of the old ones. So they, we've stopped. Um, 
you know, we're confident that these are the best alarms that we've ever made and we're putting our focus into them. Um, people say, well, are you going to do uh, an EV replacement? We are looking into it. Um, yeah, uh, we've got a lot of time. <laughs> we're very busy at the moment selling these, but we're going to look and see if whether we can make a, a, an EV um, replacement somewhere down the line. I don't know when, but it's something that we're, we'll, we'll be looking at. Um, and again, people ask, are we still servicing and maintaining all our products? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Our after sales care never changes. It, it, we, we've always put 50% of our time and effort into our after sales care. That's what you buy into with Delkin. Um, is not only are you buying a good product, but you're buying the second to none aftercare in the, in the industry. So yeah, we'll continue to service all our products indefinitely as long as we can. Um, you know, we've even given people a three year warranty with these, with, with, with uh, a registration. So they get two as standard, they'll get three years warranty when they register with the receiver and the alarms. So one of the big questions we always get asked as well is how do the hangers fit? Um, you can see you've got them fitted on your ones. Um, they don't set the bases anymore at the bottom, so and the D-Lock V2s don't have the wire form to clip on, that, that like the um, like the old D-Locks had. So, but what we have is we've incorporated it into the moulding of the alarm. So we've got two little holes at the front there, and in your pack, you'll get a little wire form, and all you need to do is you put that in the front of the alarm. Okay, just push it down. Okay, so now that is where your carbon arm will clip onto, okay? You plug your hanger in the bottom and then you just clip it onto the front. And that's as simple as that. So again, we've thought of everything and it can just stay there permanently and you just remove it. But that again, we get asked that a lot. People try and put the bases on the gate, it doesn't fit. No, no, you need the wire form, push that in the two holes on the front and then and you connect clip, your arm. And if you've got a duo down. carb with the wider one, you just use that one. Or if you've got the slim carb, um, slim lights and the new night light indication sets, you use the, the narrow one. So that was a, a nice in detailed look at the TXI Ds there. And you mentioned that there may be the possibility of an EV replacement in the future. Um, I mean, what does the future hold really, I guess? Um, well, who knows what the future has, but, but now we've got a, a fully digital platform it, it does open up a lot of, of possibilities um, going forward. Um, you know, 15 years to bring out a new alarm is a little bit of a long time. Um, we're never going to be like an Apple bringing out a new alarm, uh, you know, a new phone or a new alarm every every year. Um, that's not how we work. But uh, you know, I'd hope it wouldn't be um, you know 15 years again till we do something different. But yeah, we've got lots of ideas as always. Um, we'd like to see what now we can do and develop the vibration and see where it takes us now we've opened up the door and the digital aspect so who knows um but you rest assured you've got plenty of life in these alarms before you need to buy anything new again in no, the future certainly certainly definitely there right okay so that was a an in-depth look at the new tx ids with lee from delkim so for any more information head over to delkim.co.uk and for more great videos like this check out the top carp youtube page <laughs>